scum report. How about that? After, what is it, like a five-month hiatus, the scum report. You asked for it, and you're getting it. I was on Twitter the other night, and I could feel the, it was the restlessness of my followers. I could feel the tension. And they're like, Scum Militias, you gotta, you gotta give us the Scum Report. We're tired of ABC and NBC Nightly News and Fox and CNN. You're that one voice that cuts through all the bullshit. And you know what? You're right. So here we are. And as you tell, Lydia Keitel, the world's greatest daughter got out for it again she loves making the science she loves getting the crayons and the markers and she goes to fucking town and she has a blast and that picture kind of fits the show right kind of a more of a low budget show but with good content all right and I'm gonna get right after it and talk about a story that you've You've heard it, nausea. Talking about Michigan State and Larry Nasser, that fucking rapist that destroyed hundreds of lives. And it just blows my mind. And this is a lot like the Penn State thing. Where these horrible crimes were committed and people act like they didn't know what the fuck was going on. Um, Bella and Marta Caroli, the ran the the ranch that all these female gymnasts went to you know they're the, they're the top couple in the entire world like every parent that has a gymnast that's who they go to that's who they go to train with and they they are saying they didn't know he was doing that bullshit what the fuck is wrong with people and then, Larry Nasser's boss, uh, William Sprample, he gets charged with sexual misconduct, too. It just never ends. The bullshit. You know, and I, listen, there's hundreds of thousands of people that have graduated from Michigan State that are, that are good people, that contribute to society. But fuck that school. Just like, just like Penn State. I don't want nothing to do with them. Fuck all their sports teams. I hope they hope they all fucking lose. What a what a crock of shit. And just tons of people losing their jobs, and they should because they just turn their head and act like nothing fucking happened. Meanwhile, all these poor uh, women, their fucking lives are are destroyed. And then, another story, uh, Maddie Larson was her name, another victim, was, uh, I watched her interview, and she was talking about where the university, Michigan State Spartans, go Sparty, cocksuckers, where they were paying a PR firm to follow the victims on social media to see what they were posting. Fuck you. It's just, what the fuck is wrong with people? Ah, oh, it's just it's fucking sickening. All these sick motherfuckers walking around that molest kids and rape people. Fucking what a bunch of cocksuckers. And which goes right into the second story. Another person that we've heard about at nauseum for a couple years now. And he's the ass maggot of the year. Fuck the week. Ass maggot of the year, Bill Cosby. All right. The accuser. One of them. What's he up to, like 70? Anyway, Andrea... Uh, Constand, 
hope I'm pronouncing her name right. Apologize if I'm not. She got 3.4 million in a lawsuit. And of course, she get the fucking uh, scum wads. Oh yeah, it's a money grab. Really? Listen to what this dipshit, Bill Cosby, said. He admitted this. He testified that he said this. He had quaaludes because he had a prescription for him somehow for his back, I guess, because he supposedly had a bad back, but he never took them. He had the quaaludes, and this is his exact quote here. Quaaludes happened to be the drugs that young people were using to party with at the time. And I wanted to have them on me just in case. Just in case. Right. So then you can give it to the woman and she passes out. And then you can be a disgusting fucking piece of shit and fill her up and sexually assault her. Fuck you. He admitted to that. And he called this, this victim. He called her mother and apologized to her and said he was a sick man. What? It's just, it, it blows my mind. He's basically admitting that he's a sick fucking asshole. And you know what's another thing that's bullshit? He's 80. He got away with it. He fucking destroyed a bunch of lives and he, he got away with it. So what if he goes to, goes to prison now? He's lived 80 years. He got away with it. Very deserving for Ass Mag of the Year. Fuck face. Now, this next story. I want to make it very clear. I'm not making fun of this this guy. It's it it just blows my mind. The gay rights lawyer, and his name is David Buckle. He he defended he had a ton of clients that he defended for same sex marriage. And he fought for, you know, lesbians and transsexuals. He killed himself. He took his own life by setting himself on fire to protest shit we were doing to the environment. That's, can you imagine that? What a fucking way to die. That's one of the worst ways to die. Burning to death, and he committed suicide like that. It just, it, and you know, his family and his loved ones, they were probably in shock as much as, as I was when I read the story. Holy fuck, like that's just insane to me. Uh, and and like I said. I'm not making fun of the guy, but wow, that's that's pretty extreme. If you're pissed off about shit we're doing to the environment, couldn't you have thought of something better, a better way to do it, than setting yourself on fire? I could be wrong. And no, it's not vodka. I wish it was. It's water. It's a fucking boring. Shut up, Veronica. I'm in the middle of a fucking show. God, she's just nagging me all day. All right. Vaughn Miller. He caught a shark. And I don't know what kind of shark, but he posted a picture of it on Instagram. And of course, all these animal rights activists. Oh, that's bullshit. How can you do that? And he, he did it legally. Uh, he did it within the guidelines of everything he was supposed to do. Th this shit gets way out of control. It really does. You know, I want to tell one of them animal rights activists, well, if you love sharks so much, go hang out with them. Go swim with the sharks. And see how much you like them after they fucking eat a leg or your arm or just rip your fucking guts out. He legally fished for and caught a fucking shark and posted the picture. It doesn't make him an evil fucking person.
alright? All these fucking people, they find something wrong with everything. What happened? Uh, I was in a restaurant the other day, and three seats down, some guy farted. Oh my god, are you serious? It was probably because he ate meat. Yeah, those meat eaters, they fucking fart all the time. Which is stupid, because, like, I mean, it, I hate to talk about gas and farts, but listen, if you're a vegetarian... We know you're ripping some major ass. Especially like radishes and tomatoes and shit. You eat a lot of that. Holy fuck, your, your ass is exploding. And I don't know why I started talking about that. It just, it happens. And you won't get shit like that on CNN, that's for sure. You know. What the fuck's that? Yeah, Wolf Blitzer wouldn't be talking about blasting ass, I'll tell you that. Let's do a little bit of sports, all right? We're just good. That's how I roll. You know, no pause. We just go right into the next story. Um, the whole, the whole baseball thing. The reason I'm bringing it up. Uh, this baseball player actually, to me, made sense with this comments. I'm talking about it, it, Anthony Rizzo who plays for the Cubs, and he was like, you know what? We need to shorten the season. There have been like 30 games canceled already in like the first three weeks because the weather's been so fucked up. And this is kind of a crazy year. Not every, every April is going to have the average temperature be 30 fucking degrees, which is just insane and ridiculous. But 162 games is a pretty long season. You know, you add in the spring training, it starts in March. And then the World Series goes clear up to fucking November. Yeah, that season is way too long. I agree with him. And I believe he said he'd even take a pay cut. Which they'd have to if they weren't, you know, whatever the amount is, how many games that they took off. Even 10 games. How about 12 games? Make it 150 games. Either way, he's right. And... Nobody wants to go to a fucking baseball game with long underwear and six coats on because it's fucking snowing. It's just ridiculous. I, yeah, baseball season is way too fucking long. And my last little tidbit on sports, I have to talk about it because I just seen it right before I started doing the show. Tom Brady thinking about retiring. I thought it was a joke at first this morning because I read it on Twitter and now it's just all over the networks are talking about it. They don't know if he's coming back. Oh. Bye, Tom. I'm not going to miss you. 18, 19 years, however long it's been. that At least two fucking decades. Yeah. We're good. We don't need to fucking see your face anymore. Now. For everybody's favorite segment where I talk about the people I truly, truly love. Actors and actresses. Hollywood, my favorite city. I'm just kidding. I don't hate all actors and actresses. It's just the ones I do hate, I really fucking hate. But how about that A Quiet Place? You know, where the, the horror movie that's really good. What's that guy's name from The Office that's in it? John Krasnitsky. Krasinski? Yeah, it's Krasinski. God, I can't pronounce anybody's fucking last name today. Anyway, that looks really cool, except one little thing I noticed. The monsters on there, they look a lot like those monsters that are on Stranger Things, that show on Netflix. Or is that just me? Maybe it's just me. What do you think, Veronica? Will you pay attention? Do you, what do I pay you? And put your shirt on. I'm tired of looking. Actually, leave it off. Anyway, but those creatures, oh, I thought, wow. So they took the creatures from Stranger Things and they put it in his movie. Maybe I'm just kind of making a big deal out of it. Maybe they're not that similar. But they, they just feel similar to me. And 
Are we really shocked that the movie Rampage sucks? Are we... Right? We're not, like, surprised by that. How many times are they going to try to make a movie out of a video game? It never works. And that Rampage game, when did it come out? What, like 15, 20 years ago? Where a guy you can turn into an ape and you destroy shit? And you try to make a fucking movie out of that? I, I get it. Like, a lot of people love watching The Rock. I don't hate The Rock. I just... I don't go crazy over them like some people. It just didn't surprise me when I heard the movie sucked. And don't forget, next week, Infinity War. The Avengers. Hollywood loves their superheroes. <sighs> wow. I'm not used to this. It's a lot of talking. And you, you know I love talking, but it's, it's been a while. It's going to take me a little bit to get back in the crew. And music. Let's talk about the new music. Ghost. Remember them? They had the, what is was the pinnacle in the pit. I have a new uh, video out called Rats. And I, well, the name of the song is Rats. The video. Mm. It's okay in the song. It's kind of, mm, meh. That's just my opinion. It's not terrible. Uh, but I've seen a lot of the comments and people are like, oh, wow, this is, ah, this is good shit, finally, yeah. I just, I didn't, I didn't get that from that song. It just, it didn't do a lot for me. However, Judas Priest, Firepower, holy fucking shit. They've been going for like 40 fucking years. And I, when I heard that they were releasing this album, I was like, oh, fuck, really, guys? And then you listen to it, you're like, holy shit. Totally blew me away. I wasn't expecting that. Um, Lightning Strike, Evil Never Dies. Uh, Necromancer is a good song. It, listen, if you haven't heard it, the, the whole album's uploaded on YouTube. Go check it out. I it, Holy shit. Unbelievable. And Rob Halford, what is he, like 70 now? He's... He still hits all them fucking high notes. Really, really good album. And for those that missed it, I reviewed it. It was a quick review. The Bomb Pops. Dear Beer. Poor Song EP. And it's The Bomb Pops. So it's good. It's catchy. Uh, Polly sounds good as usual. Uh, I love The Bomb Pops. And I don't care that some people think, yeah, fucking generic. How many times do we hear that fucking phrase? We just don't hear that enough, do we? Oh, wow. Um, this is really generic. Okay. And what what do you do? Nothing. What you bitch about everybody else. So go fuck yourself. The bomb pops. Good band. And there you go. So I don't know what day I'm going to be doing the, the scum report. I don't know if it'll be every Wednesday, like next week. Maybe I'll do it on Saturday. I don't know. I'm scatterbrained. But there you go, the scum report. We're coming back. You don't have to worry about catching CNN and Crossfire and, and Fox Business with Neil Cavuto. By the Crossfire, did I actually just say that? They don't, they don't have that show anymore, do they? Maybe they do. Anyway, all right. Take it easy, and if it's easy, take it twice. I'm out, peeps.